This is Aguaymanto, unripe, oops, green. When ripe, it turns yellow, but this one's green because it's unripe, obviously. And the reason why I harvested it is because, well, it's fall, not winter yet. We've had temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius freezing and the plant died, just froze to death, with all these fruits on it before they matured. So I harvested them in hopes that they would eventually mature, but it didn't happen. So now I'm basically detaching the fruit from this cover thing and putting fruit in a plastic bag. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Got some uh, bones. Two. Those are rabbit bones and some some more apple pieces. Uh, so that's the beginning of the preparation for the honey badger. That's what I'm starting with for the badger. Not sure if he can eat that, but I realize that they're of no use to me, so I'm gonna try to give it to him, see if he eats it, even though it's unripe. Otherwise I would have to throw it out because it's basically it's no use. So I'm separating all these so so edible berries and the dry stuff I'll feed to the to the worms in my vermicomposter. Contains bethanolites. It's the adaptogenic compound that can also be found in ashwagandha. And oh, oh, look at this one. This one's good. This one matured. Okay. So this one will be eaten and I will save the seeds for planting next year. Okay. <laughs> I got one that matured. It must have been partially mature already because no other berry matured. This one's kind of shriveled. Ah! That makes it two. Two mature berries. Very nice. And I guess that's it. More for the badger. Hopefully you can eat that. And that's it. And all this stuff in the plastic bag. This will go to the badger. So this is Aguaymanto. I really like the fruit and I saved some seeds when I was in Peru and I've been growing them since. But this year we didn't really have any summer so the whole Aguaymanto plant froze before they could mature. I had lots of fruiting bodies there. It wanted to grow but they're all green and they didn't have a chance to mature and then the frost came and it killed the plant. So I harvested as much of the fruit as I could in hopes they would mature in my room but it didn't happen. But among the fruit I harvested I had these two mature aguaymanto berries. I'm gonna kind of eat them but mostly cut them in half and remove some of the seeds. These are some of the seeds from this year's harvest. I mean, I had one berry that matured before, so I saved some of the seeds from it. And these are already dry in this little baggie. So I'm gonna do the same, and the way I do it, I'm gonna do the same with these. And the way I do it, I basically just cut the berry in half. And in here there's a ton of little seeds. It's a pain in the butt dealing with them, but I use this this little skewer stick, kind of, like a little bamboo wooden stick. And that's how I separate the seeds. And then I put them on this paper towel, leave them there to dry. And once dry, then I put them in a baggie and that's it. It's not the most graceful job, but 
if you know a better way to separate the seeds from aguaymanto let me know this has worked for me i just need to save a few seeds to have enough for next year hopefully enough to to get some more seeds this year has been a very cold year basically no summer and fall brought with it freezing temperatures so anything that was in the garden essentially died and aguaymanto simply didn't have enough time to mature year prior i did get a lot i did get a big harvest these are the seeds from half an aguaymanto there's one whole berry and the other half so i'm gonna deal with those as well for now that's what we have they're tiny little seeds but they grow into a big bush but they are not winter hardy though these are my raised beds with aguaymanto yeah that's what it looks like after the frost arrived basically dead so i harvested some of the fruits hoping that some of them would mature but it didn't happen some i left on the plant but the plant died right away it cannot handle the frost and that's what's left of it Steep down. Yeah. Steep down. That's where the badger hole is. It was wet yesterday because the day before yesterday was raining. So I came here wearing rubber boots. Today I took my trusty leather boots, which <laughs> has served me well for years but they're falling apart, there's holes in them already and I mean, in a terrain like this, they took the beating but they've really paid for themselves okay, so I'm curious what happened with the food that I left for the badger Funny how, how the camera cannot capture how steep it is. And it's not just this video, it's basically any video of my cameras. I don't know. <laughs> Either I don't know how to capture it, or my cameras somehow distort reality. Okay, we're approaching, approaching the hole, but this is the steepest part. It seems. It doesn't seem so in the video, but. It indeed is. It's steep and I gotta be careful. I'm not to leave obviously because it's fall. So you can't see what you're stepping on. There is a hole or a rock or a slippery root and you're gonna slide on it. Oh, oh see? That's what I mean. There's the root. Oh, basically a branch. I, I don't even know which one I slipped on. Yeah. It's drier than it was yesterday, yesterday was day after rain. But under this leaf litter, there's a lot of slippery stuff, I mean, wet twigs and stuff. Yeah. Things we do to get a picture of an animal. Okay. The steepest part is behind me, okay, right? That's where I came from. Oh, the rest of the <laughs> the rest of the hill you can't even see. This part is so steep. And well, here we are. Obviously, I'm I'm approaching the hole from a different angle than yesterday. And so what happened? A lot of it is still there, but some was eaten and some was picked out. I mean, there's a grape beside it. It was munched on a little bit. The mush inside. Huh. 
doesn't really look promising and there's a bit of apple back there so I don't know huh maybe I didn't bring the right food and it's probably just the rats because there's a rat poop I believe in there oh my goodness so oh, has this been a complete failure then hopefully the apple that I rolled in the hole in the den Save his life in, in a way, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like this food. Hmm. I brought some bones today, so hopefully won't, they won't attract the wrong type of animal. Because there's carnivores in the forest too, and there's foxes, lots of them. Hmm. Okay, I'll get to work. So what I brought here's some bones. These are actually rabbit bones. There's another ugly mantle. And some rabbit meat. Let's see if that helps. Oh alright. The box is full. Fortunately, I didn't get a chance to get anything more substantial, but there's some meat there. Some pieces of apple that I cut up and more aguaymanto. Oh, not sure if that's good enough because only a little bit was eaten. And, I mean, this grave was a little bit nibbled on. There's uh, these are apple pieces, but it doesn't look like anybody ate them, just kind of tossed them out. But there are some bones there and some meat. So let's see if that helps any. I'm gonna set the camera up, turn it on and we'll see if there's anything on it. Looks good. Camera activated. Lock it in place. Sure, water doesn't get in. And, yep, We're ready to roll. Come on there, put there. Yeah, <laughs> hold there. Oh. Hopefully, we have better luck. There you go, I'm in front of the camera, it's capturing me actually. <laughs> oh well. See you Badger, hope you're doing better.